Matthew McConaughey is one of the most badass manifestors in the world. And this is a technique he taught me on how to manifest your wildest dreams. It involves thinking about the top 10 most important things in your life 20 years out. 10 goals in life, September the 1st, 1992. Number one, become a father. Number two, find and keep the woman for me. Number three, keep my relationship with God. Number four, chase my best self. Number five, be an egotistical utilitarian. Number six, take more risks. Number seven, stay close to mom and family. Number eight, win an Oscar for best actor. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Number nine, look back and enjoy the view. Number 10, just keep living. Yeah, I found this when I was writing the book. I found it in my diaries. I forgot I wrote it. I remember when I wrote this, two weeks into filming Days Confused, and I never looked at it again. I forgot about it. But here I find it 20 however many years later, and I look at it and I go, son of a bitch, you have achieved or are in the midst of achieving all 10 of those. So obviously you actually didn't forget you wrote it, did you, Matthew? But I never looked at it again until I found it when I was writing the book. Yet you won that Oscar. That's the near impossible one. It's so specific that's like, what? I'm still thinking this may be a one-off acting hobby that I'll look back for the rest of my life, go, oh, remember that little job you had in the summer of 92 in college? I'm still in school. I've got another year of school coming up. I'm not even admitting to my parents or friends that I may want to pursue acting. But then I see that and I go, well, you damn sure admitted it to yourself. <laughs> but I was too afraid to admit it to someone else because I couldn't even dream that I wanted to be an actor. Even at that time in my life, it was like, oh, well, that would be a foolish pipe dream. That's a hobby. That's something you do on Saturday. Well, I look at that and I'm going, well, boy, subconsciously, you sure were committed to it. So do you have a top 10 list? I believe that when we do this, something's happening in the background in our subconscious. We're not even consciously aware of it, as Matthew said, but you got to think big and think 20 years out, which gives yourself room to stretch and really dream big and trust. Trust that your subconscious is working on autopilot in the background, making the connections, the synchronicities, the introductions, the insights that you need to get to those crazy goals. Share this with someone who needs to hear it.